Um, let's shift focus to the NFL. I got an interesting take here. I tweeted this also earlier this week. Why do Browns fans, every time somebody comes available on a team, through free agency, whatever the case is, every time, why do Browns fans think that he magically is going to be a fit with the Browns? Let's say Keenan Allen, for example. It was rumored the other day that the Chargers, he could be, you know, a cut, you know, to save money, move on, whatever the case is. Instantly, Browns fans are chomping at the bit. Keenan Allen would be a great wide receiver on the Browns. You know, go get Keenan Allen. He could, the Browns could be interested in him. We don't need Keenan Allen. You sleep. We, we know. Keenan Allen, he's he nice. He, he's still nice. He was just hurt last year. He was just hurt. He's uh, he's nice. He do, he can come in and instantly be the best route runner on the team. Over instantly. Amari Cooper, no way. You sleep. No, over Amari Cooper. People consider Amari Cooper the best route runner in the entire NFL. You're going to sit here and tell me an injury-prone Keenan Allen is the best route runner on the Browns? Oh, my God. How, how, watch some football, young how, guy. how are you going to sit here and say that? Keenan Allen over Amari Cooper? Yes. Really? Better route runner, yes. Man. Look it, it up. We we'll see. We we'll see. We we'll do a poll. We'll do a poll. We'll, we'll do a poll. Well, we can, we'll, we'll do a poll for next week's show. We can. We can. Uh, we'll run it back. Do some homework. We can get some film in here. We'll, you know I mean? <laughs> we'll run it back. But seriously, though, do we really need Keenan Allen? Really, we need a guy who takes the top off the defense. Keenan Allen. We, is... At this point, we need. We we don't need anybody really. We well, we will accept anybody. They need. You know a, what I mean? They need a receiver. They need one anybody more can help. They need. One you know more what I mean? And if he, and it ain't like we're making a trade for him. We just got to pay him a little bit. There's so many other receivers. That, they need somebody who? who could take the top off. Keenan Allen. How many games did he play this past year? They can still get somebody that can take the top off. They can get, hey, man, they, they got money. They, did, you, they didn't up the, the salary this year, the, the salary cap. So they got extra money to spend. I'd rather have Brandon Cooks than Keenan Allen. DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, you can still get D Hop. You can get D Hop and Keenan no. Allen. <laughs> Come with the, on, with man. the new with the new cap, you can get both of them. Would you, who would you rather have, Keenan Allen or DeAndre Hopkins? It shouldn't even be a D Hop. I'm gonna go D Hop. I was only because he's more explosive. Brandon Cooks or Keenan Allen? Keenan Allen. Man, I don't know. He a bigger body. He's a route runner. But that's He's not a, what we need right now. You sleep. We we need a Brandon. Dude, we need speed out there. hundred percent. I know it sounds cliche. If Anthony Schwartz would have worked out, the Browns would have been so much better. I just feel like Anthony Schwartz, he can still work out. They just gotta, they gotta throw know. him the ball. <laughs> every like time they gotta, throw him the ball, he, he drops it every time. Not necessarily, man. They gotta run plays to get him open. You know what I mean? Like, when they run those reverses, they, they work. I mean, we saw it in Tampa. I'm not we talking saw about it. no gadget shit. You can't. They th- gotta run a real get this guy open in the field. Like, ain't nobody biting on nothing. It's like they, they know what they're going to do. I don't know, man. I, Anthony Schwartz, he's cooked. I think he's cooked. No, nah, I don't man. know. They're, he's they're young. So, he's still young, man. There's so many more ways I think. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all always do that, man. Y'all, oh, he cooked. He cooked. And then the Browns release him or something. Then he goes somewhere else and shine. You know what I mean? If the Browns cut. Just like, like uh, Gabriel. Taylor Gabriel when he was here. And he went. He went to. He went to freaking Chicago. Balled out. Went to Atlanta. Balled out. So, he could have been. He could. They could have kept him right here in the system so, in Cleveland. So how many passes are we going to give Anthony Schwartz then? You got to figure that shit out during the, during the freaking off season. It's just simple pass and catch, and he can't seem to get the second component of it. He can't catch. Man, he can't catch. It's the, funny looking at things from a player on the outside now. I'm sure it is, and we don't. I mean, I don't. I just don't feel like the Browns have time to really sit here and try to, you know, figure out a project. Like Anthony Schwartz, he would still be a project. No, I mean, the, I mean, with bringing in the right guys, he's going to be open. If you bring in a Keenan Allen with Coop and him, he's going to be open. Keenan not, Allen and Coop going to demand guys demand at least four eyes. Right. Then you got DPJ and Joku, Harrison Bryant as your tight ends. They going to demand eyes. I just don't know if there would be room. If they brought all those guys in, there might not be room for Anthony Schwartz in the system. What do you mean, all those guys? If, if all you the had bring in is Keenan Allen. Amari Cooper, Keenan Allen, Donovan Peoples-Jones, David Njoku, you still have Nick Chubb. Is there really room for Anthony Schwartz to be successful? Yeah, if his contract space. I don't know, man. I... We'll see what they do with him with Anthony Schwartz. You know, is is he, you know, going to be a piece of the offense next year? Like I said, I think he's cooked. You don't. We'll have to see. 